extension and decoder programming with iTrain. So if we open iTrain, we're running version 5 here. <clears throat> I'm just going to change this interface to something else. Apply it. Okay. So if we have a Laker created and you want to do decoder programming, you must first of all come into the configuration tab, right click and go DCC default. This then gives you all the CVs with the description of what these CVs are. If you wish to read other CVs that aren't in this default, you can tick and give it a name or typing your own name to what that CV is. Once you have done this you can now read CVs. So let's just call this logo something. And then we can go to view decoder programming locomotive. Now with this, it only works on versions over standard. So if you want this function, you have to buy any version above the standard version of iTrain. So choose the loco you want. We've got a DR5000 uh, interface here. So go to service track, put the loco on that program track. Highlight by holding down the mouse and moving down across all the CVs you wish to record and press read. Once you press read and you connect it to the system, the values will appear in here. And if you wish to change a value, you can type in minimum speed, for example, and then hit write. This will then write that value to the decoder. And this is how it works. If it fails to write or read a CV, this no entry sign comes up. Now, because I haven't got the computer connected to the digital system at present, that is why this hasn't come up. But if you wanted to put in different values, you can uh, version. Um, this will read back from the decoder and the vendor. So the manufacturer of the decoder, long addressing and so forth. Once you've read the CVs you want, you can hit apply. This then saves all this data back in Edit Locomotives and those values are now in the Loco Editor database. So all the CVs can be saved for this particular Loco in one place so you don't have to go into a different piece of software. You can do all of this from iTrain.